love covers a multitude of sin. Praise the Lord. And when we love our brother, we're not going to hurt our brother. That's right. Not even our enemy, we're not going to hurt our enemy. Because I was thinking on how Paul loved the people so much, you know, even when his enemies were beating him and putting him in jail, he didn't um, fight back. But you can't do that now. People fight back and want to kill you. That's right. But you see, you got to love one another. And even when the keeper of the door came in and after he had locked them up and chained them down, they thought that everything was in their hand, but it was in God's hand. Praise and the so Lord. when um, the keeper asked Paul, he went in with a light, and Paul told him, I'm not quoting in every word, but he said, do thyself no harm. We are all here. And so Paul was letting them know, y'all beat me, and I'm still here in Jesus' name. Praise God. And so the man wanted to know, what must I do to be saved? He said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and I shall be saved in the house. And so they carried Paul to his house, washed him up. Put, and see, sometimes your light can shine so bright, you can lead up the biggest sinner out there in Praise God. by showing love. That's right. Love just, uh, just covers everything. Mm -hmm. And when you say you have love, you got to show it because love shows itself. That's right. No matter how much a person talk about you or whatever they say, always show that love. And when you show that love and God see that you're showing love, he'll, he'll bless you and elevate you. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things that the devil thought was going to carry you to your knees, the Lord will clean you up and bless you and bring you back in. And so... We got that love is the first thing. Uh, love and being humble is the first thing that mm -hmm. you got to do. Get in a place with the Lord where you can stay. It's first thing is humble yourself and pray, like he said. And when you humble yourself and pray and turn from your wicked ways, he said, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. The and Lord. you can't do this if you don't have love. You got to have love in order to Turn some people pray, and they'll um, try to arm on themselves and pray, but they ain't wanting to turn from their wicked ways. So they're That's still right. in the ditch of the Lord. High yeah, until the Lord, Lord see that they have arm on themselves and pray, then He can get them out. And so, so many people today, they're still in the ditch. You can't get out of the ditch because they don't want to arm on themselves. They don't want to pray. And that mean thing is turn from their wicked ways. That's right. The more wicked ways will keep you out there and the Jesus come and hell will be your home. Hallelujah. Thank and you, And so Jesus. people got to learn how to show that love mm -hmm. by praying for one another and giving gifts to one another. And if they can go and if they're sick, visit them. And so this is showing love. It's showing that you love your brother. It's showing that you love your enemy as yourself. And, nor, and showing that you love your neighbors as you said. That's right. A lot of people think that they're supposed to love their neighbors as you said, but not them enemies. you got to love them enemies, too. Love them enemies. Because Jesus died for them enemies, and that's why we're not on high yet. That's why we got to love them enemies. Thank you, Lord. Thank and when you. we love them enemies, then we're getting on up there. Then because a lot of people say, well, I tell you, I, the Lord blessed me real good, and I'm safe, but I just can't love that old man. If you don't love him, then hell is going to be your home. It's like That's king. right. When he That's killed right. his brother Abel, he didn't have, he was jealous. Mm -hmm. And jealous was just like an eating castle. You know, to eat you up and send your soul to hell. That's right. And so the most, and the basic thing this morning, let's all show love one to another. Mm -hmm. And pray one for another, and that's that's the ba that's the basic thing we need to do. And and by all means, that first is humble yourself. Right. Now we got to humble because our parents should, you know, except we come as humble the child, we can't get into the kingdom that's anyway. Right. And you can spank a little baby, and he'll lay his head on your shoulder and cry and cry. Mm -hmm. And then when he wake up, if you look at him and smile, he'll show all them little gums and smile right back at you. Because <laughs> hey, he love you. Uh -huh. When he laid his little head on your shoulders, he, he had that love. That's right. And when he woke up, he still had that love. Uh -huh. And so that's what we got to do. When somebody hurts your feeling, Still show that love. That's right. And don't even pay it no attention because shake it off. Just like Barack Obama says, shake it off. That's and right. And so we got to shake them things off and not let them carry, carry us down because we ain't got one life. 
And we got to either save it or lose it. And the only way you're going to hide, I'm going to hide you. And the way you're going to save it, you got to keep loving and praying and seeking God. And I tell you right now, you'll find yourself moving on up when you show that love That's and keep right. seeking the Lord. Because love covers a multitude of sin. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God. You can draw them in, mm -hmm. but by throwing, uh, as to say, railing for railing and throwing fire, you throw fire on me, I throw it on you, it's burning my heart down, burning your heart down, that's not going to get it. Yeah, that's right. But we got to love, and love is a sweet thing, mm -hmm. I tell you. We think about how our Father shaded his blood on that cross for all the most sinners, and they was ready to kill him, and they couldn't kill him. They thought they had killed him. He just went to sleep. Then he woke up on the third day, praise God, and they didn't know. They couldn't believe still that that was him. So people look at you the way you carry yourself. If you carry yourself in a way that the world will love you, and even if the world hates you, God going to fix it. You see, the devil is your biggest enemy. He's always out there trying to start something. But if you show that love, he'll have to come down. Because he'll, he'll say, well, you know, I've always treated her wrong, and I, I really didn't, didn't, I just couldn't help it. It's them demons. They can't help it. When the demons have got your heart covered over like a bunch of flies, ain't a thing you can Praise do God. but run and ask God to help. Because sin is black, and mm -hmm. it's, it's filthy. And it eating, it's, it's eating the people's heart up because they can't do nothing about it. But if they humble themselves, just humble yourself and say, Lord, Forgive me of all my sins. He'll do it just like that. But it's not going to take you into God's kingdom just because he forgave you. You've got to work on something else. You've got to work towards the prize of a high calling with the Holy Ghost. That's what I'm talking about. If you don't get that Holy Ghost, then burn up all that. Forgiveness is good, but that Holy Ghost got to come in. And run them flies off in that heart. You know, that black sin off in that heart. Because sin is filthy. It's so filthy black. There's no way God going to take that much sin as big as a mustard seed into his kingdom. So that's why we got to work hard for God to move. So we can get away from all these little things. Because these little dirty spirits will come up on you. Try anybody. If you tried Christ, it'll try you. But you got to stand your ground and let the devil know, get behind me, Satan. No, you, you can't tempt the God that's in me. And he told Satan, get behind me. Thou should not tempt the Lord that God. And so you can't do it by yourself. You need Christ's power. You need that. Hold on, I'm behind I see the Lord moving. You need that anointing power to kick them things off in you, praise God. And it ain't no use to stand here for the rest of your life and think you getting away and God looking in the core of your heart every day and seeing that there's something there that you need to get rid of so I can come in. Come on, hi, yeah. Because he can't come in until you clean up that heart. That heart got to be right. And if the heart ain't right, all your running and working is in vain, praise God. Good works is not going to take you there. You got to have the Holy Ghost on board on my high day. And I tell you, when it come, it comes sweeping the floor clean. Praise God. Nobody has to come behind it and redo it because the Lord is cleaning up the hearts. And if your heart ain't clean, hell gonna be your home. And nobody want to be thrown in hell, praise God. And that fire burn, burn on our whole on my high. With lead and brimstone, my God, can't you think about how it feels to be thrown into a big lake of fire? Because death and hell going to move out of his place into that lake. And that's where you're going to burn. Your soul be burning for the, oh my God, with no end. I wouldn't live for Satan. I hate him so bad. He can get out of my face. He'll never get back in my heart no more. When God saved me in 1973, the 16th day of May, I told the Lord I won't look back no more. I'm so glad. I was so glad that he thought enough of me with a filthy heart to clean it up and put his Holy Spirit in my heart. Oh, no, you won't get me no more, devil, because he was pulling to get me to drag me in hell, but he's a lying wonder. I'm blessed, and I know I am, and I'm ready to help somebody else on their way because hell is hot. He got all kinds of ditches dug for people. 
He got aggravating spirit, oh, 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 word spirit, and everything you can call. He got them out there waiting for you. Oh, lusting spirits. Oh, lusting our spirits. Oh, oh, my God. And oh, lusting flesh spirits. And oh, proud of the life spirit. And a proud look God hate. So it's time that we don't come in here and make tracks like a bear and ain't get nowhere. We want to come in here and get somewhere, praise God. We want to shake off them devils and let them know I'm, I'm not oh, oh, ain't I high. Heal up on my high. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. I'll never look back. Tell him I'll never look back. You ain't got nothing fit for me, praise God. All you want to do is burn me up and I can't see my way out. But if you armor yourself, and say, God, forgive me. There's no big sin, no little sin in God's eyes. He'll clean you up and wash you clean. And when you stand before him, he'll recognize your giving. And he'll recognize your holy, righteous life for living. And that's what he wants to do. God bless you.